Sonic Ranch is this huge residential recording facility out here in West Texas. It's unlike any creative space that I've ever witnessed. I mean, the intention behind every room, uh, the attention to detail in every room from the recording facility to the, the residential suites is just next level. I've never seen anything like this before. I could come home at a decent hour So we could go to sleep at the same time But I'm much more of a night owl And you really bloom in the sunshine Well, they'll try fixing us up Saying business and love don't mix but what did I miss, darling? Our love is better as it So we have one week here to create the foundation of the album, the song structures, the overdubs, and then take that to San Diego and fill in all the other parts with my band. We've been touring nonstop for the last two years and just writing music, and it really feels like we're at a turning point. So we want to take this record to the next level. And there is a lot of intention behind this project. From coming out to Sonic Ranch to who we brought to collaborate with, it's the boldest, and realist version of anything we've ever put out. I really believe that this album is just the next thing for us. I'll never be a trophy girl living in a Barbie world. That's cool, man. Go to the You'll then never do it again. be my man, but you do it the best that you can. I'll never be by your side. I'm just sitting it for the ride. I mean, it's do really it trippy. The best that I Especially having amazing session musicians out here like Joe Tamino, Stu Brooks, and Matt Goodwin. And my producer, Danny Kalb, who also produced my last album, Wandering Soul. They're all brilliant, and each of them bring their own unique skills and perspectives. All of our energies are just kind of blending into this one sound. Most importantly, they're super sweet, genuine guys. So, even though there's a lot of pressure with such a short time to put this together, you don't really feel like it. Everything just flows. It's interesting to come into a project that's not your own and to bring it to life, you know? It's, it's an adventure really in seeing through the vision of the artist. And I think Trish is like one of the most brilliant people and musicians that I've ever met, you know? So like her inspiration, it's really easy to get behind. And I see the vision and I see the impact it has on people's lives. And to like collaborate on that effort to bring it, you know, really is a special thing. It's like, there's just no ego. I think it's important when you do sessions like this that everyone's really open, everyone's really listening, not a lot of ego involved. And that makes great art, that makes great music, that makes a good vibe. This particular one, feels really natural, like the environment we're in, the space that we're in, the space that Trish makes, Hyrie, the band. Danny too, I mean, Danny is an amazing producer, just so open and like a collaborative spirit and good vibes all around. Yeah. And I think a big part of it's gonna be bass stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like that'd be good to say for tomorrow. So I was thinking either put it down now or she goes. Put it down okay, now. cool. Let's get let's get into that thing. And then that, so that would be nine that we're talking about. And then we've, we've been pulling in like twelve-hour recording sessions, and in between those sessions, breakfast, lunch, dinner, we're all together, and we're in this room, and we talk, and we laugh, and we get to know each other more and more, and it's just creating this unbreakable bond. It, and once we're in the studio, it's it's like we've known each other forever, and you know, there's no. There's no tension or, or distraction, and so we're able to really become who we are as a unit, and it's it's been amazing. Last night we um, we ended at about one, and we went out and we, as a group, 
you know, went out and looked at the stars and got to see the galaxy, the Milky Way. If I was in LA or somewhere else, we would just say bye, get in our cars and drive to the hotel and that be that. Being out here, you, you walk outside and you're like, whoa, I've never seen that many stars in the sky. And, and then we walk together just on a high, you know, and you just can't create that. You can't recreate it either. It's just, it's, it's right here and right now and, and it's really affecting the way that this album is turning out. You know, it's amazing to have the, the time to spend with each other to create something that hopefully is impactful in people's lives. And people from all over the world, you know? Trish is coming from far away to come, to come make this music and so are we. So to find a like communal spot in the middle of it all and uh, join in on this vibe and this adventure to bring things to light is pretty beautiful. Being here in the middle of nowhere is like losing all of your inhibitions and distractions because at the end of the day, anything that's keeping you from writing music, recording music, waking up, feeling positive and just charging the day is, is a distraction. So being out here, feeling isolated with a bunch of amazing musicians, producers, it really just heightens your, your experience. It's kind of just this magical wrinkle in time and it belongs to you. I don't know what this is leading to. I just, I lo I'm really enjoying everything, and there's magic in music and in in performing and being there for people in a very spiritual way. But I didn't think I could do it professionally, just because I didn't think that that would be an option. Till it was, because I just thought I would have to go to college and do everything, you know, just correctly. I think it really hit me after I gave birth because it kind of was like a, a wake-up call that if I wasn't trying to pursue it now, then I would never be able to. So I had just finished like 16 months of breastfeeding and staying at home and being like a homebody and love it to death, love being home, but I just remember having an itch and being like, if I, if I don't do it now, it's just never gonna happen. So I made a demo. Won't talk, I won't speak. I won't move till you finally see you belong with me. <laughs> when I started Hyrie, you know, I created the name Hyrie for myself because I was really scared to be Trish on stage. You know, like what what is Trish? Well, Trish is a stay-at-home mom, you know, who kind of drops in and out of music and then self-doubts. But Hyrie would have been a brand new possibility for me and possibly me, the real me, the side of me that I have always kind of suppressed. So, you know, that brings me to the new album, which every song on there seems to be like an I dare you song. I dare you to be brutally honest with yourself. I dare you to face your fears. I dare you to be who you want to be, or I dare you to face, you know, the stuff that just you, you don't want to. You know, a lot of us run away from, from life. Um, but this, this whole album has been a lot of like reassuring, you know, women, everybody that, you know, we're, we're in so much control and more control than we think. And as far as we know, we only have one life, you know, maybe. But, you know, in this lifetime, it, it wouldn't hurt you to, to be happy.